Hey guys, welcome to my channel Mr. Recap. Today I am going to explain 2022 animated adventure family movie called Mia and Me, the Hero of Centopia. The movie begins by showing a male elf named Eko preparing to surprise his dad Nino. He planned to bring breakfast to his father who was guarding the prisoner, a Todd that used the power of darkness named Toxer. Arriving in front of the prison, Eko was surprised because none of the guards were seen. While inside, the guards and the empress fairy named Shuba realized that the shield they had made was broken. Toxer took the opportunity to take ruby gemstone and turn the guards into evil monsters. While Nino tried to reclaim the gem, he was hit by a stone rubble. Luckily, he managed to save Impreet and took her away so as not to get attacked by Toxer. In a different place was seen an old man with his granddaughter Mia. They were in the car and enjoyed the ride by singing together. Mia brought her beloved book, The Legend of Syntopia. The book was a memento of her parents and the content was a story she made herself. It took a little time but Mia and her granddaughter got her parents' house. They have been living the house since her parents died. Although the house had a beautiful view, her outlook of the house was now different from the previous one. Then they went into the house and her grandfather let her leave her past. Mia missed her parents so much. She began to remember her childhood in that house. She used to be told about unicorns by her mother. But suddenly, the mattress she was sitting on was broken. She relieved her childhood memories by cleaning the house with her grandfather. Once the house was cleaned, they had fun and danced together. But suddenly her bracelet shone which means she got a call from Syntopia. She rushed to open the portal to Syntopia using her book. Her grandfather who saw her leaving was surprised and worried, but Mia said she would be back soon. Once inside the portal, Mia turned into a pretty pink fairy. After coming out of the doorway, she accidentally crashed into a flying ship belonging to Iku that made all of Iku's air balloons escape and eventually the plane crashed. This incident was Eko's first encounter with Mia. Still on the same day, a summer festival was going on. A shuffle competition was being held here. But Eko's flying ship suddenly fell, making all the participants run. They then got off the plane. Mia was greeted by her fairy friends Mo, Yuko and Onchao. While Eko came to the place because he was sent by Impreet Shuba to report to King Renner if Toxer managed to escape the seal. In the name of Impretus, he gathered an army to defeat Toxer before he took Splotus Island and all the elves. The bad news was that the king and queen said that the only person who could defeat Toxer was gone from the fairy world. Then they remembered a prophecy stating that a child from another world would collect three magical objects from defeating evil. Considering it made the fairies put their hopes on Mia, while on a different island, Toxer and his army were poisoning the forest with poisonous breath and turning all living things into evil monsters. Half of the island has been conquered by him and he also managed to obtain a ruby stone that had a power to be a shield. This gem stone was the elf weapon that once defeated him. Toxer and his men glitched then changed the ruby stone using the power of darkness. Then the stone showed a picture of Mia and the other elves making a plan. The ruby stone in Toxer's hand turned out to be the same as the gemstone in Mia's bracelet left by her mother. The meeting in the fairy world continues. Eko realized that Mia's bracelet came from the fairy world made on Lotus Island because it was similar to the one in the unicorn's body, Stormy. So the three gemstones are meant in the prophecy. They were the new ruby in Toxer's hand, the gemstones in Mia's bracelet and the gemstone belonging to Unicorn Storm. To defeat Toxer, Mia has to get the three stones. They then start sharing tasks. First Mia, Eko and Onchao were in charge of finding the unicorn who owned the gemstone on a storm island while Mo and Yuko were responsible for keeping Toxer on Lotus Island from attacking the elves' place. Since Eko's previous flying ship was damaged, Mia had the idea to invite Pearl to join their mission so she could borrow his plane. Meanwhile, Toxer ordered Glitch to go to Storm Island and took two gems from Unicorn, Storm and Mia. On the other hand, many fairies are busy preparing for the departure of troops who want to fight Toxer. From a distance, Pearl ran and immediately checked the plane's condition. When checked with the wires, it was in good condition and ready to fly. 
Then on board, Puddles showed Mia and Eko his protective device that looked like balloons. On board, Eko looked very sad. He asked Mia why he had to carry out the mission of the prophecy, even though his father was a hero. Eko was still not ready if he had to bear this burden. Mia could understand his feelings. She said her parents died three years ago from drowning and left bracelet with her. She believed that her parents wanted her to come to Centopia. Let alone that her arrival that time at the advent of Prophecy made Mia even more convinced that she was destined to have the elves in Centopia. Unknowingly, they had arrived at the outskirts of Storm Island. Eko felt there was another plane following them. When he tried to find out, it turned out that the plane belonged to Toxer's men, who were now chasing after Eko and managed to hijack the flying ship. Then Glitch attacked Mia and managed to grab her gemstone when they were fighting. Suddenly, there was a lightning bolt that struck them, causing their plane to crash on Hurricane Island. Puddle was saddened because his artificial plan was damaged. And so was Mia, who lost her gemstone. They decided to inspect the island from above. Mia and her team met with Unicorn Storm on an island that was immediately shocked by the sudden lightning strike from the unicorn, named Stormy. He was also the one who attacked their flying ship because he thought they were evil fairies. Mia explained that their intention was not to do evil but to ask Stormy for help because at the moment, Centopia was in danger and only the gem stones in Stormy's necklace could help defeat Toxer. Immediately, Stormy felt sad. He said he remembered what he let down another unicorn using his storm power until he decided to isolate himself on a storm island. Stormy was moved because Mia came straight for his help. He was happy to go with them to Lotus Island to defeat Toxer and save Syntopia. On the other hand, Mo, Yuko and their troops had reached Lotus Island, which was immediately greeted the gunfire from Toxer's men. Mo then decided his army into three groups. Each group was in charge of examining the situation on the island, but they were all abruptly attacked by Toxer's men, who left many members of Yuko's army dead from turning into monsters or escaping. Inside the cave, Toxers managed to get Mia's gemstone thanks to Glitch. He did not need to come to Storm Island anymore because Mia and her team were already on top of Lotus Island. Toxer welcomed them all. The battle for a gemstone occurred and Eko was attacked by Toxer and turned into an evil monster. In addition, Eko managed to obtain Stormy's gemstone. Luckily, Mo and the rest of his men could get Mia and her team awake. They chose to retreat because Toxer was too strong to deal with directly, let alone their current troops. After successfully escaping, Mia was taken by Impertise Shuba to the town of Lotus Island, even though Mia lost all her gemstones. The Impertise believed she could defeat Toxer to repel him. Impertise divided the defensive duties. Yugo and the Unicorn were guarding the perimeter, while Mo had puddle build tools that could help fight Toxer's troop. On the other side, Toxer threw all the gemstone in the pool of fear and then ordered Glitch to prepare troops because in a moment he was going to attack the boundary wall of Lotus Island. Mia was invited by the Impertise to go to the hero room. She discovered that Toxer grew up with his hatred of the elves, and then Mia's mother came to prevent him. Her mother used a gemstone and bracelet made by Impetus. Now the bracelet was passed on to Mia. Then a new prophecy emerged about Mia's birth and arrival. Impetus was back to cheer Mia up. Outside the palace, Toxer's troops began to attack the palace walls and fight with Yuko's men. While Mia was taken by Empress to an alleyway to avoid Toxer's troop, she could safely get the pool of fear to pick up the gemstones. On the way, she was attacked by Toxer's men and fortunately Stormy helped her. Inside the palace, Puddle managed to create a tool that could be used against Toxer's troops. Upon Mia's arrival at Toxer's post, Mia was intercepted by Eko. She tried to disenchant him. Luckily, Eko managed to suppress the poison that affected him and let Mia into the pool of fear. The pond revealed Mia's greatest fear as she entered, but she managed to counteract them by remembering her memories with her precious grandparents and fairy friends. Mia managed to get the three gems but needed help to get the surface. Luckily, Eko pulled her up. Eko could now retake control of himself. Mia then took him flying, but they both fell right around Toxer's troop. 
because Eco was heavy. Soon Stormy came and helped defeat Toxer's army and he took Eco and Mia away to fight Toxer. Now Toxer had managed to hold Impetus hostage with the rest of the troops. Mia came at the right moment. She immediately used the power of three gemstones to create a subspace that locked her in with Toxer. In the house, Mia remembered that Toxer was born and grew up full of happiness. So she decided to make him happy again and forget his hatred for the elves so that no more elves would be victimized. Toxer, who could already unleash his hatred, instantly changed his magic. Everything affected by his poison returned to the way it was, from the plants to the elves. In addition, Iko's father was still alive and he felt delighted. Mia fulfilled the prophecy to save Centopia and even save Toxer from the darkness. Although the gemstones was destroyed, she remained a hero to the people of Centopia. After that, they celebrated victory together, including Toxer by throwing a party. Puddle then gave Mia a new gemstone so she could go home. He made it out of a Stormy's teardrop, but the new gem could only be used once, which meant that once she got home, Mia would no longer be able to come to Centopia. Before leaving, Mia did not forget to say goodbye to everyone, especially her friends. After which, she used her gemstone and entered the dimensional portal. Mia could return home safely and meet her grandfather even though she had been in Centopia for days. It turned out that her real time only went for a few minutes. Her grandfather felt pleased and hugged her. Before telling her experience, Mia wanted to spend time with him so that she could make many memories. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching. If you like it, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel.